Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to find caves using an x-ray machine. You, what you'll need for this is you'll need five redstone, two sticky pistons, two TNT, one lever, and ladders are optional. It all depends on how you build it. Okay, um, this is three high, it is three wide, and four long. Okay, so what you need... I actually didn't find this. I've watched another video by Ethos Lab. I'll link his description to the video in it. It's at the end of the video, so you should look out for that. Okay, how it works is you basically come down this hole, and then you can look through the ground and see all the caverns. So you obviously got, um, you saw that. You got dungeons and all those other stuff, which you can see, which is helpful for finding and lighting up mob trap systems. Okay, basically how you build this is I would normally go five down, so, or just far down enough, so that way you're, away from the surface. Then I go one, two, three, f I go three and then I dig up one. Also clear out three high. But don't clear it out all like this. Then you must leave a block there. You must get rid of this block and that block. Then what you do is you place redstone like so. So that way it can power the piston without activating the TNT. Then what you do is you place a piston here, a here. They have to be sticky pistons, otherwise it'd be really hard to um, try to redo it all the time. Then you place the two TNT here. It has to be TNT, it can't be any other block. And then you place one lever here. Then if you also want to help get out of the actual trap, you should place ladders here and here. Okay, now... How it works is you flick the lever and you can see through the ground. So you got all the, like, you can see a dungeon there, an abandoned mine shaft, and, yeah, like lava flows and everything. Then to jump out, then you just jump out like so, and climb up. Okay, now what you want to make sure doesn't happen is you don't activate it, so that way the TNT gets activated, which is a bit of a bummer if you've spent a lot of time and you don't have that many resources. Uh oh. Obviously you will die except for the fact that I am on creative mode. You can also place torches inside your thing so that way it doesn't um, spawn hostile mobs except there's not that much room for hostile mobs to spawn inside of it. Basically it's just in here but you can place a torch there easily. And there, if you really are that nervous about them spawning. You can also clear this block here, so that way it's easier to reach the piston. Sorry, not the piston, the um, lever. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that, and thanks for watching.